Hello everyone and welcome to this EasyCAD tutorial. Let's start at the top. The drop down menu gives us options of new, open, save and save as. We can also export, we can share the project or we can take a snapshot of it. After we've saved it, it will appear here as recent documents and we can quickly resume work. With edit tools, we have the standard move, select, rotate, delete and others we will go over later. In build, we have the choice of different elements such as cubes, floors and walls, stands are pre-made. We'll go over this a little bit later as well. We have color where we can decide what color and what texture the element has. We have pre-rendered objects, which gives us simple examples of products we might want to put on our stands. We have room where we can recreate the exact floor plan of the place where we will be putting the easy cubes in. At the bottom, we have either a 3D view or a 2D view, top or 3D. We also have view settings where we can select, turn on and off different off functions, such as grid and others. We also have the slider of POV, which is point of view. We can either narrow it down or we can widen the point of view. Also to the far right, we have the price tool, which gives us a price, but more specifically the exact elements and the quantity that we need to recreate in reality what we had built here. Also in the upper right hand corner, we have the help button, which is there to help you out and troubleshoot. More on that later. Now let's go over navigation. Click and hold the right mouse button. Move your mouse left and right up and down to navigate around the space. To rotate, you click and hold the middle mouse button, the mouse wheel, and rotate and move your mouse around. Also, to zoom in, simply use your mouse wheel. Zoom in and zoom out. Very simple. Now let's build. But before we do that, just a little quick tip. Now we have selected the floor. Now we can build floors anywhere we want. If we want to simply go back and quickly go back to selection tool, we just right click on the mouse pad. It'll go back to standard mode. Now to build is very simple. We click on floor. Now we have floor selected. We click and drag the area we want. And that's it. Very simple. The same with cubes. We click and we drag selected area we have created a little a little display the cubes if we build them outside of the floor they will automatically have floors as you can see here very simple there are also pre-made stands if we click on stands that we just click and select if we want a simple stand for example it will immediately show up to rotate the stand we first have to place it then we have to right click to go back to selection tool. We select the stand and in one of the corners we can click and drag. And the floor or the stand will always snap into a 90 degree angle. Always into the closest possible option. We can also move it by dragging it like this. We can also move it back and forth. The same the same goes for these. We select, this will be selected. We can move it left and right. Also note that each creation that you made will be independent of each other creation that you make. So now we have moved the floor, which we created as first, away from these cubes. To move these cubes, it's the same thing. To create walls is just as simple. Click on walls, then you select the width and the height, let's say 3x3 three three blocks. You place it, and then to select it, go into selection mode, select it. You can rotate it, it will snap as before. You can move it, and so. Now we've created a little stand, a few options for us to color. We go into color, we select the stand that we want colored. We can zoom in to see the effect happening. We can click on color, for example. We can make it blue and we click OK. It's simple. 
Also here, as you've noticed, my cursor has changed and now I can color everything simply by pressing each cube individually or each floor. To replace a specific color with another specific color, we select the color that we want to replace and we select it with what we want to replace it with and then we press OK. The same goes with texture. We can either select texture, for example grass, and then we select which tile or which cube we want to have top as the texture of grass. We can also, as you remember, right click, go back to selection mode, select tool and simply quick select everything. Both ways work. Now let's go into objects. Let's put a bike on top of this little grass right there. We simply click and that's it. The bike is now here. If we want to delete it, we select it. Then we can either press delete on the keyboard or use the button here. Now let's create the room. We go into room, we click on create, we click and we drag and we release also show us the exact dimensions of the floor that we have created. We can erase it by simply also selecting and dragging. It will automatically update the numbers. We can paint it into different textures or different colors such as red. Now that we've created our room our stands and the placed our products on. We can go into here, snapshot, and it will create a nice little snapshot of what we've created. To simply save the project, you go into save as, and type in all of the information that you need, project name, public or not, and then click save. If you want to, you can also export the project into a standard Collada file, which allows you to edit the 3D project in other software. Also, down at the bottom to the right, if we press price, it'll show us exactly how much of what we need and how much it'll cost us to be able to recreate with these colors and with these textures, these three different displays. If you do come across any issues while using EasyCAD, you can always go into Help and Troubleshoot. Either report a bug or leave feedback. If the program is running really slow, please do remember to enable hardware acceleration in your web browser. If you need help doing this, please visit the link that shows up here. Thank you very much for viewing this tutorial. I hope it will help you create nice and beautiful EasyCube stands. Good luck. Thank you.